In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to center buttons that are added through the WordPress Gutenberg editor. In this example, we have two buttons that are side by side and they are centered just like this. And I'm going to show you how to make that happen in this tutorial. This tutorial is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. There's a link to that in the description down below. If you find this video helpful, you're going to find that playlist super helpful. So make sure you check it out. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress. So you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. Here we are in the post that we just saw in the intro, and we can see those two buttons are no longer here. So let's add them. Let's go to edit post to go into the Gutenberg editor for the post. And let's scroll down and hover around till we find the plus icon and choose buttons. If we don't see the button icon here, just search for it. Spell it correctly. Buttons. I have an extra plugin called uh, Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg, I think, that adds extra buttons, but this is the default WordPress button that ships with Gutenberg. Let's open that and we have our button right here. And right away we see our cursor. We can add some text like by now and we can change settings for the button on the right hand side. We see under block that we're on the button block. We can change it to outline if we want or fill color settings, all these exciting things. And you can go through those and change those as needed, but to center the button, what we have to do is not click on the button itself. It is counterintuitive. Almost every other block in Gutenberg, if you click on the block, like text, for example, we have the alignment options right here, right in the toolbar. When we click on the button, those don't exist. They also don't exist on the right-hand side for centering, for alignment. Where you want to click is to the right of the button, and that's going to open up the container of the button block. This is where we can change the alignment, right here. It's justified to the left. We can center it. We can also put it to the right. And the reason they do this is because they've made it so you can add multiple buttons in a row, horizontally or vertically, and they needed to separate the alignment for the buttons to be able to do that because they need to align them as a set versus just one at a time. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. So to add more buttons, all we do is click the plus icon. We can add a button. Let's call this one by later. Let's change the color to orange. Now we have a buy now button and a buy later button and they're aligned to the center as a set. If we were aligning each button individually, they wouldn't move as a set like that, or it would be messy as far as the code goes to actually make those line up. Much easier to have the code applied to the section that contains all the buttons. And you can have them be horizontal, or if you click on the section, we have the option right here to make them vertical. So you have the buttons go up and down, and again, justified to the center, to the left, to the right, wherever you want to have it. And you also have the option to make them full width or wide width. The difference is not a whole lot in this case, but that might change depending on what your theme is or how your page is laid out. And I'm going to change this back to horizontal. And the last thing, of course, you want to add a link to your button. Click on any button, click on the link icon and add your link right in here. Click on the second button, add your link. And however many buttons you have, you just add links to all of them. And then click on update. And now if we view the post on the front end and scroll down, we have our buttons aligned to the center, just like that. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.